so i'll stop the lecture here uh, but if you have 5 minutes i wanted to discuss couple of problems from the practice set is it okay so i'll just uh, take couple of examples and then show you in the, uh, how you can solve the problems that's all right so let us say i have the classic examples i give for you know giving demonstration is this so i had given something like this rx or maybe and asked you to find the resistance this was one of the practice sets i'm sure so again uh, the brute force way is directly you know apply a test voltage find the test current use kcl and do it. but again approach the problem like how we discussed in the last class think of it as a new circuit given to you what might be the first step you take now yeah you take uh, r not to be infinity first so let's start with taking r not to be infinity correct so you apply some test voltage here what is the voltage applied here so what can you say about the current here gm times there is no r not so the entire current has to flow here so what is the resistance now if it is not clear what we are doing is this so i am applying a test voltage i know this sorry i know this current is going to be gm times vt correct there is no other path this current has to flow like this like this so what is my resistance now yeah so at least you know that this should be looking like 1 by gm correct so now we can actually do a full blown calculation wherein you take into effect the non idealities so here the non ideality we ignored was just r not i'll go to the next page maybe so again the ideas we are going to apply a test voltage i'll call it some r now the way i will look at the problem is this uh, and remember i have to find the test current here correct i can i will think of the problem like this i am applying two excitation one at the gate sorry one at the drain and one at the gate correct same thing and i have to find the current on both sides what can you say about the current here i don't have to worry about it i'll only have to look at the current here due to both the voltage sources right so now let's look at only due to the drain so it means gate is short i am applying a test voltage so what is the looking in resistance now hmm is it cas code r plus why for i mean this transistor for small signals what would you replace as i mean what is the complete model for the transistor voltage controlled current source and r not what is the value of the voltage controlled current source here what do you have essentially right so this is basically what is the resistance then you can directly say you don't need to do calculation so similarly we can do for the excitation at the gate so let's do that i'll apply the test here and uh, where is it i have to find the current i test here correct and i know that the transistor will have some r not so what is the current here small signal current is gmbt and this current can flow either through r not or through this resistor r i am interested to find the current flowing through the resistor r and how much will that current be i mean i have a current gm times vt this can either divide between r not or r so what is the current flowing through the resistor r here the current is gm vt times the uh, resistance r not by right similarly uh, here you already found the test current sorry the resistance so what is the test current here the resistance is basically r plus r not what is the test current then vt by so the total test current is sum of the two which is vt by r plus r not plus gm r not vt by r plus r not 
so what is the resistance now uh, maybe I'll, yeah r plus r not by 1 plus gm r not so now again you get an expression do some sanity check what is one quick check i can do here i mean i already found the result when r not was infinity if i tend r not to infinity is it giving 1 by gm so at least the calculation is correct and again i didn't do kcl here right you can by inspection you can do this and again uh, does it remind you of some result that you already saw before what is that result or i will uh, let me re uh, rewrite this hold on yeah hold on so the resistance you see to be uh, calculated to be r plus r not by 1 plus gm r not if you don't remember the results okay take uh, think of it like this <coughs> if r is much much smaller than r not what does it become 1 by gm did you do you remember a case where you know if r is less than r not the resistance was 1 by gm what was the case common the resistor looking here is yeah 1 upon gm provided and if you actually calculate this is what you will get there also now does it make sense that these two fellows have the same resistance why i mean you can calculate and show yeah but same gate hold it Huh? Yeah, remember that. This I can think of it like this. Connecting to ground. So again, now we are essentially looking at this fellow, terminal A and terminal B. So what I mean, this is a one-port non-linear device or a two-port non-linear device. One port. So it's a resistor. So which means doesn't matter if I look here or look here, the resistance is same. I mean, this how you sort of build intuition, right? You see, and uh, don't just don't solve this pause, stare at the result, and think of if you already saw some result similar to that. Just like how I showed in the last class, how you think of new circuits. Then you try to make comparisons, right? See, uh, which means now you should be able to make easy statements. I mean, easy uh, observations. So which means now if I give you something like this, what is the resistance looking down now? R1 plus, I mean not 1 by gm, I mean whatever you computed. It's 1 by gm provided R is much much smaller than R0, but yeah, otherwise it is R plus the equivalent resistance you computed. Similarly, if I put uh, another resistor here, that just become R2. Yeah, series, right? Because the idea is this is now a one port nonlinear element. For small signals, this you can replace it with an equivalent resistance. Now let me give you another extension. So let us say now uh, If I give something like this, ask you to find the resistance here. What will you do? What does it remind you of? I mean, I have a transistor. What is the bottom? That's an effectively a resistor. So how I can basically simplify the circuit to, yeah, my R equivalent. So now, what is the result? What does it remind you of? So what is the resistance? Can you tell me for completeness? R equivalent plus R naught plus GM R naught times R equivalent. I mean, that's what you should not be going and you should not be computing this again and again. Once you make an observation, just try to understand. It. So, similarly, if I ask you this, right, if I connect this to connect this to ground, what is the resistance looking here? Is it 1 by GM? Why? Why are not? I mean, okay, only two results: one by GM or not? I mean, because transistor has GM and R not. Uh, one by GM, sure shot. Why one by GM? Okay, let's calculate. Or maybe first I'll show. 
I'll show something. What is the resistance here? R naught. One bhm or R naught? No, this is it clear? Is it R naught? Now I, I can think of this circuit like this. And I'm looking at the resistance here. So the other is basically connecting this to ground. Again, one port network. I mean, you will not have GM VGS at all because VG, VG and VS are equal. GM VGS is zero. You will only have R naught. Basically, which means I can give you different variants and easily I can confuse you. But if you uh, are smart, you will be able to recognize, catch my bluff, and easily write the results. So this is what I want you to do while solving the small signal problems. Okay. This is how you kind of get a feel for the circuits. And uh, maybe another question. I think we have a lot of things. Maybe I'll just show one other thing. Yeah, I think I always like this problem. Yeah, so here again, if you are to find this, right? So, okay, let's see M1, M2. So try to solve it, you know, by looking at it. So first you see, I'm applying a voltage VA at the gate. What will the transistor do to that voltage? It will convert it to a current. What will be the value of the current? GM of two. I mean, remember to keep. I mean, make sure you keep track of the transistor numbers. That's important. So now, uh, where all this current can flow to now? It, 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 uh, the transistor itself has an R naught. Correct. Now, what can you say about R naught and R X? So, in parallel with R naught two. So now the current can either flow through this resistor or here. And what is the resistance looking up here? Hmm? One by GM of which transistor? So now, can you tell me what is I out? R X parallel R zero two. Okay. Plus one upon GM times. Okay. Get the hang of it. I mean, you first see what happens to the voltage. It gets converted to a current eventually, and you trace a path for that current. That's all. Because almost all the questions I gave, uh, you can solve it like this. None of them will require you to solve complex KCL. You know, solve three, four equations and solve them simultaneously. No. And again, if you're not able to do this like this, you ignore R0 for all transistors, find the result, and then do it. So please try to try to solve the problems this way. Because the questions I ask also, I mean, I think of the result and make the question. Right? It is not like I'm randomly give a question and ask you to solve. I'm not a sadistic fellow to give 10 transistors, uh, you write 10 KSL equations, 10 equations, 10 unknowns, do some big calculations. No, that's not my point. Okay. So sorry, I stop here and. Uh,